Hello and welcome to a training. A training where we make structural engineering design simple and easy. My name is Olo Dukonyedi. I'm your host. So welcome again to my training. Uh, a platform where we make structural engineering design simple and easy. My name still remains Olodu Konyedi. It has been an ethic week for us. And we are glad that we were able to make time out to keep answering your question. We want to appreciate everyone who, who has subscribed to our channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you and those sending us um, encouraging ways, sending questions to us. We really appreciate that. So we will be having a lot of a lot of questions and today we'll be answering some of them. We'll be answering some of them as the time permits. So we have um, uh, and another thing if you are here to subscribe to this channel please hit that subscribe button hit that like button that is the only way you can encourage us to keep giving you quality videos so we have um, a subscriber um, Steven Addy Addy uh, Steven you didn't tell us where you are commenting from you said uh, good evening good day engine how did you get the column base after you save the work? I did not see any column base to the end. Um, Stephen, please, when can you just comment and tell us where you are commenting from? If you are commenting from any state in Nigeria, please tell us that state. But if you are commenting from outside Nigeria, please tell us your country. It will really encourage us to do better and do more. So, Stephen, if I get your question correctly, you said, how did you get the column base after you saved the work? I will try to answer, but if it's not what you are asking, please comment again and tell us if we answered it or not. I did not see any column base to the end. So, um, for your question will be, treating how to design a column base how to design a column base that is what we'll be talking about now and if you look carefully the first thing you do please check our previous videos on how to do modeling how to design and all what not so please check those previous video i won't be doing all that here well, let's assume you've finished your modeling you've analyzed and everything has been done what you need to do now is just go to level zero level zero is the foundation level where where the column base you are asking for will be placed on so right now you won't see any column base until I have finished my design and after I finish my design I will now go to level zero this is level zero but most of your your work let me show you how it will be For most of the work, you won't have this this um, column load appearing. If you want it to appear, you come to this active window settings, which is here, but you can check any other place. Window, active window settings, click on it. And this place, look for column plan display. Click on Asia load, then come here, loading and check all the loading combination you want to appear these are the ones i want to appear so but if i uncheck them they will all disappear if i uncheck them and i say okay it has disappeared so but i like to see them when i'm doing my column design i like to see them when i'm doing my column design i will say um, 
let's uh, pick this uh, pick this or you can settle down and go through them properly settle down and go through them properly we can do that I will say okay so with that we know our combination two has the is com combined load so I will be using that for my analysis so to get your column base Steven click on any of the column you can either do all of them at once or you do one after the other but to me I prefer doing it one after the other so it doesn't have a typical um, columns a uh, footing size like this this is 112 the is and this is 218 so if if you do a combine as in a typical um, footing for all some will be very large whereas so what I normally do is I take one of the column I alight it right click and you come here insert part base once you do that give it some time it will it will come up yeah this is it so at this point now the thickness of your your base let's assume 350 that is what we normally start with uh, your your allowable stress of soil which is your soil capacity let's say 150 but you have to meet your your tech engineer to give you that so but where i'm from in abuja typically the average soil strength is around 150 but in lagos and in delta and all those areas where there's a lot of water the the soil capacity is much more lower than this but if you are staying in hop north nigeria where you have a lot of rock the the soil capacity is strong so but in your own location please meet your your soil engineer to give you that so after that we'll come to this place okay there's one more thing we need to do before we get to this place so i will go back to um analysis uh, building analysis when I get there, when I get to that building, I, I, I go to edit material, I'll go to foundation floor, come to Riba, and I'll click the one I want. So I want 12, 16, 20 and here yeah, is okay you say okay close so come back here right click yeah make it 350 for a start 150 the soil test this i got this from my soil report so here now i'll pick white wolf and i'll click calculate it has done the calculation now and it's giving me one meter by one meter y12 at 150 that is my my and you click ok and automatically it does does it for you go to the next one same process right click everything same calculate it's now giving me 1.2 at same so but if you group all of them at once it will provide same size for all which which I don't like so you come here right click same process say okay now it's giving us 1.5 by 1.5 and you click okay okay I say okay so if you look carefully typically we can either group all of them at once and you say insert part it will ask you create a typical footing for the selected column no i don't want that you say okay so automatically it creates 
so let's see it created 1.1 1 .1 meter this other 1.2 1 and this other one 1.1 1 .1. so we can do same for the others so for you to a lighter you can hold uh, your control key and add more to it if you if you are lighting them so right click insert no not typical and so this is how then immediately you save it it should remain it shouldn't disappear now if we come to one which is here after you finish and you want to see your column base click on it again it should not disappear please check your work if it's disappearing then you've not saved immediately you do that save your work it shouldn't disappear steven i hope i have answered your question but if not please um comment again let me know let me know also if you've yet to subscribe to our channel please hit that subscribe button that is the only way you are appreciating what we are delivering and like what we said soon and very soon we'll be starting uh, a, our commit um, our community here with more detailed videos and more please just keep tuned to this uh, china more and more interesting stuff will start coming soon so until i come again next time remain blessed thanks